destined that I would face the camera. Because for a person who does not know anything about performing or about acting or um, how it is to be in front of the camera. Rani, how much will he... I love him? No. No. <laughs> the best thing about relationship is that you need to shock your partner every day. And I shock Adi every day. I chose right because I wanted to choose a person who's not outgoing, outgoing, outgoing. So like I'm happy at home, he's happy at home, we both are happy at home. <laughs> Wow, this is, this is amazing. This is like such a great group of people who have braved the reins because they are such amazing cinema lovers and obviously great admirers of the amazing Rani Mukherjee. So please, without further delay, let's just get her on stage. Put your hands together. <laughs> Rani Mukherjee, everybody. <laughs> See, this is true love, huh? <laughs> it is. Ki barish. I was actually wondering if people would turn up today. So I kind of um, told my PR guys that would you like to cancel today since it's raining and people have to swim and come. So let's be considerate and not call them and call this interview off. But they were like, no, no, no. They're very confident that people will turn up. So I'm like, very happy to see you guys. So thank you for coming. <laughs> Dani, I want to begin with... I'm just um, going to keep the mic here. Bilkul. Because it's like under my tashreef <laughs> and not really going well. <laughs> and in some time it would just kind of warm itself up. So we don't like, have to go there. <laughs> rather, yeah. Okay. So I want to start by asking you about something very exciting. That okay. you are writing a book. Yeah. And I think that's... <laughs> I can't wait to read this. What a journey you've had more than two decades in the movies. You've seen the highs, you've seen the lows. There's probably incredible stories. You've worked with such incredible filmmakers. There's so much inspiration. But my question is, why did you decide this is the right time? You know, actually, I didn't decide, to be very honest. Uh, my team, who dearly loves me, and they always uh, think a lot for me because um, my team is more ambitious than I am, uh, which is, I think, the way things are today because they know that they have to uh, manage an artist who is quite content. Uh, so it becomes difficult because, you know, as an artist and an artist who is in the field, one has to keep going and have to keep at it. And um, I was completing 25 years, two years back. And they thought that a great way to celebrate me or my body of work was through a book. And I was not too sure because um, I've always kept a low profile as much as I can keep. Uh, I've kept my life as private as private can be in this field. And I didn't know whether I wanted to open up um, certain areas of my life and talk about certain areas of my life. Um, so openly at an age where I think I have a lot more years to go. <laughs> um, and the concept of um, writing a memoir or an autobiography or a book is, you know, when you kind of um, decide that, okay, I'm going to... Ho gaya. Yeah, yeah, and I think that's like, it's a long way there now. Of course. You see, so, so I wasn't sure, but I think the whole idea was because I'm not on social media and my fans don't get to see my day-to-day -day life, so to speak. Uh, they don't know what I'm doing, when I'm doing, what's happening, what were really uh, the trials and tribulations that I went through as a woman. Uh, because now in the industry, I've been in my teenage years, I've been in my 20s, I've been in my 30s and now in my 40s. So I've actually grown up in this industry. And um, I was a different person when I was in my teenage years. There have been different um, decisions about doing films when I was in my teenage years. Uh, then things have changed when I, was, when I moved to my 20s, 
then when i moved to my 30s i thought differently i had different feelings of course i got married then i had a baby and now i'm in my 40s so you know i'm changing as a woman as well uh, so are my hormones so <laughs> <laughs> so with each passing decade that i've uh, literally uh, grown with my fans um you know some of them were in school then they went to college then they got married and now they have kids so you see they've grown with me you see yeah, yeah. and the women will know you know our hormones keep changing and we are not <laughs> the same people you see um and i get to know that through my husband also <laughs> <laughs> not more to my friends but yeah it's um, it's quite a incredible journey just being a woman you know and to top it up to be a working woman in movies um being a working mother um so there was so much that i wanted to like i have to say so i think the book was the best way to um, because i don't do too many interviews yeah yeah um i just come out of my home during as they all say that during my film release because i feel that i have something to talk about through my films and i've always maintained that for an actor um you need to talk only when you have something to talk about yeah. um i can't really talk to them about what shoes i'm wearing and you know what i'm they are very nice shoes yeah though. they are <laughs> <laughs> let the record show <laughs> so yeah so yeah that's why i kind of spoke about the shoes so you could take it you could take a cue from there um mehnat se joote pehen ke aaye to bilkul baat to karni chahiye na But Rani, you yeah. you spoke about your husband. Now your yeah. husband is of course famously private, so private that people say. No, actually, I am more private than him. Nobody knows that. Really? Yeah. He is much more outgoing than me. Acha? Yeah. He is just not out outgoing with film people. Ha. Huh. But he is quite outgoing. Um, it's just that um, I chose right because I wanted to choose a person who is not outgoing, outgoing, outgoing. So like I'm happy at home, he's happy at home, we both are happy at home. <laughs> <laughs> so you know it would be like really difficult if i had a husband who would like hey let's go party and i would be like really kambal mein acha hai na so 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 yeah so i think i chose right in that but, department but so he doesn't force me to go anywhere i don't force him to go anywhere and we are so happy being at home no it's not even great funny. but yeah. he in all his life has yeah. never even agreed to do interviews i mean i i was chasing him in the early 90s yeah. uh, like literally so pre you, ddlj you have a bone to pick with him <laughs> i do but my question not with me i am always available for you <laughs> <laughs> but here's my question when you married to Did someone did you do same pinch you wearing the same colors <laughs> <laughs> that when you married to someone who is so fiercely guarded yeah his life yeah. and his presence yeah uh, When you now he's actually wanting to become more outgoing. I start telling him now. What's going on, man? Everybody is recognizing you because of romantics. Exactly. I yeah. was just going to ask. I'm like now because of you, I get recognized. <laughs> But so, yeah, has he become? It's has become he a tasted very, poison? No, no. Is it's become like... a very big problem because I chose to, you know, marry a guy who's completely not known. So you know, I can also like roam, roam around without people. I recognize him. I just have to keep my mouth shut because they recognize my voice. Right. So it's like if I'm walking and somebody just walks past me, they come back. I heard your voice. I'm like, okay. <laughs> so yeah. But Rani, how much will I he? I love him. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> you can also tell us how much you love him. Yeah, but I'll answer your question. What do you wanted to know? With the book. Hmm. Right. There's But a you... lot about him though. So will he allow for that? Of course, he yeah. has no choice. <laughs> People need to know I'm married him now. <laughs> that there is an existence of Adi Chopra, a so and so person. Yeah, thank yeah. God for the romantics. Yeah. Now they know. Now very soon I'll come out in my wedding pictures also. <laughs> <laughs> And the quintessential Sabesachi bride. First. Indeed. 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 Yeah. There before anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> Really, it's crazy. Yeah, Tani, I want to rewind a little because as I was, like you said, you were in the business when you were a teenager. Yeah, yeah, and I was just thinking. I was like, when I was researching the interview, I was looking at, you know, and you've talked about this, but I want to understand. So you're 16 years old, not really keen on an acting career. No, not at all. But your mom thinks you should give it a shot. 
I think my mom also thinks that I should give it a shot because maybe the situation in the family was um, somewhere Difficult. where she thought that I could be the bread earner or something. Yeah. Yeah. So it was also, I think her decision was also laced with a lot of other factors. It was just not that my daughter is beautiful, let's be an actor. I think it was not that. Um, also because my mom's youngest sister is also an actor. So she thought that because my aunt has also had a really nice prolific career, uh, there's nothing that is bad or there's nothing that can't happen. Uh, but uh, because I wasn't too keen, so she kind of played it really well with me. She's a very smart woman, I must tell you. Uh, she kind of told me that, you know what, try this one film, see how it goes, if you're interested. And if you don't like it, you can go back to your life. But um, like today when I'm wiser and I'm older, I do understand what she went through at that point of time. Uh, because it was a little setback in my family and I know that why my mother was so keen on me becoming an actor. But at that time she played it quite cool with me and she was like, you know, try it out if you don't like it. You know, I think she would be devastated if I didn't like it, uh, to be very honest. Um, and as we always say that destiny plays a stronger role in these things. So it was destined that I would face the camera because for a person who does not know anything about performing or about acting or um, how it is to be in front of the camera. You know, you need to either have the passion for it, uh, so then you want to learn. But with me, it happened like an arranged marriage, you know. So I got married to the movies and then I fell in love with it. <laughs> And yeah, it's done me good, you know. This arranged marriage has really That's worked right. for me. That's right. And I realized that uh, arranged marriages are not bad. <laughs> <laughs> but at 16, you said you did this screen test where yeah. they put glycerin in your eyes, you were wearing clothes that Mamta Kulkarni had, had worn, worn in some previous in some other. Yeah. And you know, you said that screen test was a disaster, right? It was How a disaster according this? to me and huh. my mom huh. and my brother. They were like, petrified seeing the screen test. But somehow I think the producer, you know, had faith uh, in the way I uh, kind of came across on screen. I think the DOP also, the way he shot, I don't know, it's like, you know, there are some faces that are meant for the camera, and there are some people who might be gorgeous looking, but they don't really come out looking great in front of the camera. And sometimes very ordinary looking people like me look nice on camera. So, I was lucky. Okay, now she's fishing, right? Now she's just fishing. <laughs> Ordinary looking and all, we'll just not go there. Yeah, just like little, like cat eyes and nice smile and... Yeah. <laughs> you know what I find even more remarkable though? Yeah. Is that you, you did the Roshan Taneja classes, yeah. right? In fact, I did it only for a month. Yeah, so it's not like you did some heavy duty training. No. But when you shot, yeah. you said it just came. It just came naturally. What I'm does telling that mean? you, it's like magic. It's like magic happened to me. I was on a stage like this where the Maura shot, because you know, at that time, now, the Maura shots shot used to be a thing, yes. you know, yeah. where the industry, friends and families used to, you know, congregate and come together in the one loof and wish well for the film. And somebody would uh, do the clap and somebody would say start sound and somebody would say action. And I remember wearing this pink outfit in Raja Kiyagi, but I think my fans would remember. Um, my wedding outfit that I wore, my God, I was married for my first one. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I was wearing but that. But it just came. Yeah, like, like they said action and I performed and before that, I was struggling in the acting class. I was like, how do people do it, you know, or stuff like that. And I did it and for the first time in my heart, I felt, yeah, not bad, I did it. Like, you know, when you uh, are like self-doubting yourself and then for the first time you feel like, no, this is something I think I can do. And that happened to me on that Maura day and then there was no looking back from my side at least. Um, in the sense, I started to enjoy what I was doing. First, I thought it's going to be very tedious for me, but then later on, kind of just, um, yeah, it just kind of ironed out itself, you know. So, did you, over the years, develop 
any sort of a process when it comes to acting or is it still that that type of instinctive acting where you they say action and it just comes yeah it's always instinctive for me really always till date i can't prepare for a role so you know when this new age okay let me use the right words be politically correct uh, yeah i have to be because i shoot my mouth through and then anyway uh but that's a bomb quality can't help it huh. um so yeah so i think no but when like, this whole thing started where people started to prep mm. you know there were readings you know people do readings workshops yeah workshops i don't get it you don't do that i don't get it because i genuinely believe that i become the character when i wear the costume when i'm on set and when i'm in the situation of the set which makes me believe that i am that character i can't wear these clothes and start reading and become that character it's not this is me this is rani mm. you know i can't suddenly take the script and start believing that oh i have i am this character it's not going to come from within me but the minute i wear the costume what i meant to be like for mrs chatterji when i become mrs chatterji on set that's my house i am devika you know but i can't be devika in bombay but when you get there you it's just like a switch that just it's a flips. switch as soon as the camera is on first it used to be easier because there's be a camera noise mm-hmm. but then through the years i've learned to switch on even with a silent camera mm-hmm. so it's like the camera has to start and i know in the back of my mind that the camera has started and then i i think i just transform that's what my director say i just transform and can you do the same thing in many takes or because it's instinctive like the first few takes are the best first yeah <laughs> one take artist uh that's what my directors call me but chalo i'll say for technical issues and all two three takes two <laughs> takes <laughs> really yeah i hope people who see this interview also take this in humor right <laughs> then let's start hashtagging arrogant nay nay tell me this you just said before ki you're a content actor yeah. right but rani the role that you did devika okay that's not a easy role to play even yeah. physically i mean emotionally of course it rings yeah. your gut out but but even physically i mean just that first sequence of her running is is a lot the cop in mardani is physically demanding yes. so these are not roles that are the choices of a content actor so clearly you're not that no no i'm content as a person i'm not content as an actor i'm hungry as an actor mm-hmm. so i want to do roles i want to challenge myself and to be very honest i think my fans have kept me going um honestly when i didn't want to be an actor the way my fans kind of received me you know and the encouragement that they gave me through the years you know i think that has also pushed me to push boundaries in my own work yeah. you know i can't be content as an actor because no actor a true actor can't be content mm-hmm. you know you have to keep keep doing stuff that challenges you like i'll be bored if i have to sleep walk in a film mm-hmm. you know where something's easy for me no i have to do something which i should be nervous going on set and i should be nervous to believe that you know how do i play this part how do i play this character and i can't get rani mukherjee in the part i have to be this character so if i'm devika i have to be devika if i'm shivani shivaji roy i have to be shivani shivaji roy you know i can't be me in my roles otherwise what is the point of me acting out a character yeah you know yeah uh, so it's not different aspects of rani it's a different character that rani plays you know uh, so i like my characters to speak their own language i like my characters to walk uh, differently i need them to have a different body language i need everything about so when an audience watches me in the theater they forget who i am you know they are seeing the character because they need to connect with the emotions of the character they need to connect with the trials and tribulations that that character is going through in the film you know they can't suddenly feel that are this is वो कुछ कुछ होता वाली रानी अभी डांस करने लग जाएगी ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए 
they can expect that here. I'll be like, that's fine, you know. But can't be. But can't be in my characters. You see, like imagine Devi ka. Correct. Yeah. कुछ कुछ होता can you imagine? Can't. Are you are you critical of yourself? Do you watch your work? I'm very critical of my work. You watch your work. That's why I'm always looking at my director for approval. Yeah. Yeah, my director has to be happy with my take because I believe that the director is my first audience. Mm. You know, because she or he is the first audience who is watching my take and says a yes or no according to what she felt. You know, what I'm feeling, I could be feeling a lot, but maybe I'm not emoting as much. You know, there's so many times where we internalize an emotion so much that as an actor, I'm feeling it a lot, mm. but it's not translating on my face or in what the director wants. You know. so it's important for the director to be happy with what i'm doing and then i know that okay if this person is happy then i'm sure the audience will also be you know you know speaking and i work only for my audience <laughs> <laughs> speaking of kuch kuch hota hai rani you've done some of the most memorable romances of yes the 90s of the 2000s <laughs> right No, I love film. romantic films, and they were so. Now they'll have sweet. to write a mature love story, no? But this they should. This word mature, so matured. <laughs> no, but only women mature, men don't. Ah, men don't. <laughs> <laughs> men just grow old, and women mature, right? Okay, so that makes us feel better. <laughs> you know, I was talking to. Karan, <coughs> he was talking about going for to shoot uh, this the tum kya mile for yeah. Rocky or Rani, yeah. and he was saying how tough it is to lip sync. Tell me about the art of lip syncing. What is what is the challenge? There's no challenge because you guys all did it. <laughs> There is no challenge. फिर इतना अभी गाना लगा अभी lip sync करती हूँ. I could be sleeping. Huh. The music could be on, and I could just start lip syncing in my sleep. Really? Yeah. How lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's a complete ease for you with all of this. Yeah, I think actors of my generation or actors before my generation, we were not given choices. We were not spoiled. Karna hi hai, bhaiya. We have to take our. We have to support our family. We have to do well. We have no choice but to do well. We have no other option. we have to give it our best we have to work hard we there was no like we can get a second chance you know our fans forgave us a lot that time now i know why fans are so unforgiving because they like sab kuch hai to abhi karo na hard work that time they knew that we were working so hard so they forgave us you know if we look bad in a film they didn't really come down upon us so or they came but we never got to know because there was no social media <laughs> so it was like in their homes which we never knew now it's like because of social media it's like right there in your face do you do you at all follow what's said on social i media? have no choice my team makes me follow so my team tells me ha huh, to meaning you don't have you don't you you're not on platforms but you know what's happening see i need to remind people i'm a housewife also i have a lot of other things that i have to do i have to raise my daughter i have to take care of my house take care of a husband as well not that i'm taking care of him but it's just nice to say that no <laughs> <laughs> um take care of my mom um take care of myself which is also a big big job in the 40s yeah yeah you know in the romantics you talked about how much pam ji was an influence on yash yeah and and how because of that influence and because of her sort of what she brought to the table he was able to create such beautiful female characters yes uh, you know the yash chopra heroine was just iconic yeah, yeah absolutely iconic. which makes me wonder how much lot of influence ha batao kitna hai on ab on... kya main batao khud ke muh se kaise batao main <laughs> wo to batane wala hai nahi wo nahi batayenge na wo to na. bata deta itna shay bechara yeah so you tell us not just on him rani but also on yashaj films no 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 um see for me see as a wife i think today we come from uh, we are 
that couple that there is a mutual respect that we have for each other's work. Um, we also discuss each other's work because we are from the same fraternity. Tomorrow, if he was in another business which I didn't know much about, I don't think I would have been able to contribute. But luckily, we are in the same profession. So yes, uh, there are times where he talks to me about his work. I talk to him about the work that I'm doing. And it's, a, and it's lovely because, you know, Adi genuinely respects my craft and I respect him as a filmmaker, you know. So I think the respect is very important. And uh, that makes it easier for us to be able to uh, talk to each other without any um, kind of agenda or any ego or any uh, kind of judgments, you know. So I'm, I'm okay to tell him that, you know, for example, if there is a casting he's doing, which I'm not really 100% um, very convinced about. And then he tells me that, you know, I cast this person because of so-and-so reason. And then I understand his point of view, you know. Whereas if there's a film I'm doing where he has some doubt, so I tell him that, you know, maybe in this film, this is the way I would handle it. And he understands it. Because as my partner, he is supposed to tell me um, what I should and should not do. And the same with me. Otherwise, we're not real partners to each other. You know, we can't live a fake life where I'm trying to say that you do your thing and I do my thing. That's that's not what a true partnership is, yeah. you yeah. know. Um, so, like, our movies are like our baby. Like, the way we think for Dira, uh, what is the best for her, That that's the way I would think for his movie, which is his baby. And he would think about my film, which is my baby, equally. You know, so we would want the best for uh, one another because... I enjoy his success as much he enjoys mine. Because at the end of the day, if we have to stay in the same room, we have to be peaceful, we have to be happy with our individual careers, we have to be content with our careers. Only then there can be harmony in our space. Yeah. You know, So harmony in a house is important when both individuals are happy in their own spaces. You know, We're not eating into each other's space, but we're also happy for each other. So when his Pathan becomes a big hit, I'm the one celebrating more than him, you know, making a bigger noise because for me, his victory is, is as much as it's my victory, you know. So, though I'm not romantic Shahrukh in that. <laughs> do, do you ever say that, Rani? Do you ever say like, I think it's time now, you know, cast. No, no, no. Like, I'm too egoistic as an actor. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very content where I am. I would always believe that a director would sign me if he thinks I'm best suited for the part. Mm. Um, because that is what I believe in. Like, because I'm a filmmaker's daughter myself, yeah. you know. And today, casting is not as easy as, you know, you can just cast. There are a lot of factors to be um, looked yeah. into, you know. Your saleability, um, how much is a film going to cost? what actors would best suit that film because you need to recover a cost. So there are so many criteria, you know. And I'm not delusional, which is the best part about myself. Um, uh, I like to live in reality uh, and that's the way I like being because that's the only way a person can be completely happy. Yeah. So I know that when there's a right film for me, um, he would definitely want to cast me, but there are so many times he thinks I'm the right fit, but I don't think I'm the right fit for that. So I say, You oh, refuse him? Of course, many a times. And it's easier to refuse him uh, because he's my husband and he needs to understand. He has to be understanding, no? <laughs> so he never gets upset? Never. He never gets upset with any actor, which is why I think he's a very successful producer because um, he's very, very chilled when actors say no to him. Mm. Because he understands that an actor will say no to a film only when an actor does not want to do it and he doesn't want any actor to be part in his film if they're not dying to do that film. Because when you're part of a film, you have to give you 100%. You know, you can't have actors coming to your film doing favours to you. Yeah. You know, that's the worst. Because, you know, that's not the way it is. You know, yeah. you need to have actors who are dying to play that part, who are dying to be part of the film and that's what you want, you know. Like, I wouldn't like to be part of a film where somebody is, you know, more interested in me doing the film than I'm interested in to do that film. Yeah. You know, yeah. I want to be as much excited and I want to be more excited than my director, you know. I want to be more excited than the producer. Because if the producer is getting lax or whatever, I want to push him. Mm. You know, kya ho hai? Chalo! <laughs> Janda garne. Do you make people nervous? I? Yeah. 
नहीं इट्स जस्ट माई रानी इन सो मेनी इंटरव्यूज यू टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू सी हाउ माई हजबेंड कास्मिन मरदान यू सी या ही थिंक्स एम राइट फॉर द पार्ट नो एंड ही वॉज सो राइट बट टेल मी दिस यू यू टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू लव द थियेट्रिकल एक्सपीरियंस यस राइट दिस मे बी बिकॉज आई एम अ डायनोसो No, no, I love, I love it too. Yeah, we I all like love it, right? Come on, yeah, the artist. I just, I just love the feeling of going into a theater when it's dark, and you know, you, you know, the movie starts, and you're transported in a different world mm -hmm. of that particular story, you know. And I love that. And then you're eating popcorn, and you know, it's just amazing. Yeah. Then yeah. the chips going, <laughs> and then in an intense scene, if somebody's eating, you're like, "Kya ho raha hai?" Thodi der to ruk ja, you know. and then somebody is eating samosa and that smell of samosa and it's just amazing yeah yeah you know and then you're getting ice cream and for me i think the best time that adi and me have is when we go to watch a movie together like that's something that we continue doing every friday wait you go out of yrf or in in yrf in yrf in bombay <laughs> <laughs> so you know but your public but multiplex. no but when we are outside india we go everywhere yeah 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 and it's lovely to hold hands and go and it's quite nice Uh, I remember he used to go to Gaty Galaxy. He still goes. Really? Yeah, yeah, he still goes. But now he's getting recognized more. <laughs> which is great. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I think it's fun just, you know, you know going and standing in the line getting a ticket, getting a popcorn, you know, and um nowadays you get pizzas also, which is great. Uh so you get like quite good food like yeah, you know, food yeah. is really great. Yeah. So yeah. So it's nice to like eat and watch your film and it's crazy it's like such a good experience why would you want to waste it in the house and then you know somebody comes and disturbs you you have to pause and like kya ho raha hai there is like some message comes oh pause in a film you like dekh raha hai dekh raha hai dekh raha hai no it's like you know the urgency is there because you don't want to miss anything you've committed yeah in the house you like acha wo chawal chada hai pause karo chawal lekar aao you know it's like crazy Like you want to go to the bathroom, you pause. You go to the bathroom. Like there's no fun. Yeah. yeah. Of course, yeah. During OTT, it was fun. It was great. But then now, हो गया वो COVID time अभी निकल गया अभी चलो अभी. But you are also a great believer in roles for women, which are very very strong characters. You've yeah. always said that the woman has to sort of change the narrative. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. And at this point, because the truth she is, she does that even in real life. Absolutely. No, no. Agree. Yeah. But the truth is, Rani, that this time you're seeing more of those narratives where women have key roles on streaming as opposed to in theatrical. Uh, do you think? I mean, you look at the roles, whatever. Sushmita has done, or Madhuri has done, or Kajol has recently done. You know, it's it's like they are the center of the narrative, and you don't see enough of that in theaters. Do you think streaming has changed the landscape for women? Of course. I think anything that changes the landscape of women is best and you know women wanting to do it is best as long as people see our work you know because we actors can only thrive when people watch our work you know we're not working for five people watching our film right we want people all over the world to see our work and sometimes uh, as as i told you there are different reasons why a film cannot be made for theatrical experience uh, whether it's the monetization whether the audience is really wanting to go and see a certain piece but they are comfortable watching it in the confines of their home so be it um but yeah but as an individual if you are asking only about my individual um point is that i would try and give my audience a theatrical experience with the woman being the centrally um uh, the central character who is driving the narrative and hopefully i would believe that the audience would come and watch it as long as my producer can make money as long as my producer is not um uh is in profit is not losing money i would continue doing that with you know theatrical films mm -hmm. because i do believe that a uh, cinema needs to be seen as a community and less as just an individual experience mm -hmm. when you watch a movie with different people with different mindsets you know are coming from different um, cultures coming with different families who have different ideologies when you are in a theater you are seeing everybody's reaction you know 
and that is a different vibe you know at home it becomes people who you've grown up with or you know people who are very uh, familiar familiar or people who are like you know you're like okay i want to watch this film okay you want to watch it yeah somebody will say no i don't want to watch it so that person will not watch it so you have people who like a romantic genre they will sit and watch a romantic genre but when you're in a movie theater you're like you have so many people who love romance you see so the energy in a theater like when there are 100 people clapping as opposed to two people clapping you know it's a different vibe absolutely you know and i think that is something that i live for and i would pray to god that forever that i do films my audience should come and they should watch me in the theater because see ott pe to aane wala hai na uske baad sure sure to fir uske baad de dekh lena ott par correct but i just have to nudge and urge people who are not moving on the first friday yeah. chalo na dekho na <laughs> jao na thoda dekhne listen you know the first friday experience of pathan was one of the finest experiences i've had <laughs> yeah i mean we were screaming and whistling yeah. and oh my god so you see fun. that is what is let me put it like that bollywood films yeah you enjoy a bollywood film in a theater i you know and I that is what makes us bollywood stars till we don't have the high speed shot we like एक तो होना चाहिए ना हाई स्पीड वॉक थोड़े बाल ऐसे थोड़े बाल ऐसे कुछ तो ना विदाउट दैट इट्स जस्ट इनकम्प्लीट ओके आई एम ऑलमोस्ट एट द एंड ऑफ माय क्वेश्चंस एंड वी विल गेट ऑडियंस क्वेश्चंस बट आई लाइक टॉकिंग टू यू आई हैव टू मोर आई हैव टू मोर आई रेड दिस ओल्ड इंटरव्यू ऑफ पैंजी एंड शी वाज टॉकिंग अबाउट हाउ यू मेड आदि सो मच into into a more relaxed person into mm. a happier person she said ki when he was younger he would walk up the steps and sing mm. and she said he started to do that again <laughs> which was just the sweetest thing ever is this going to be in the book i'll put it now that you suggested <laughs> you must 100% hai na yeah see i think the best thing about a um, relationship is that You need to shock your partner every day, and I shock Adi every day. He's <laughs> like every day he sees a new me. He's like, I don't know what's coming today, you know. So that's like good, you know, because he's really bichara simple, you know. <laughs> so yeah, it's like boring to be simple. So yeah, I like to like like make him like. He's always like, "Aaj kya hoga?" So he tells me that for me it's like every day I'm putting on a new channel. One day it's comedy, one day it's drama, <laughs> one day it's um, violence. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like it's a different movie each day. So it's nice, you know. Yeah. One day it's romance, of course. Yes. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Now, okay. Last, do, apparently during uh, Mrs. Chatterjee, yeah. you met with Gopi Putran, and you have talked about Mardani three. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us more. क्या बोले अभी दीज राइटर्स आर वेरी लेजी दे डोंट राइट फास्ट लिख ही रहे हैं लिख ही रहे तो लिख ही रहे मतलब बट इट्स गोन हैपन आई एम क्रॉसिंग माई फिंगर्स बिकॉज आई वुड लव टू प्ले द पार्ट ऑफ शिवानी वन आई डिट मरदानी टू आई वॉज आई वॉज क्वाइट नर्वस बिकॉज यू नो आई हेड नेवर डन अ सीक्वल बिफोर यू नो आई वॉज लाइक हाउ विल इट हैपन यू नो बिकॉज आई लीव माई Uh, characters behind each time a film gets over and then i don't know whether i'll be able to reprise that part again and with mardani too i was surprised that i enjoyed reprising the part so now i have like tasted blood so now i want to reprise it again in three <laughs> so i'll be very very happy and excited if uh, mardani 3 script comes about really something that we would make a film because i think i as a actor always believe that we don't want to do a film just because it sounds good we need to do a film when the script is good and when we want to make a film which is making a difference yeah. you know and and with mardani 3 we can't make a film if the um the story does not have that um substance mm. you know it has to be something that the people relate with today uh, girls uh, find it empowering um only then we can do mardani 3 you know we can't just do mardani 3 because it sounds exciting mm. Uh, so I'm hoping that if they can crack a really good script, I would like 
just get on with it so really. is there anything you've committed to right now no no i haven't because um, i think i give so much to a film when i do a film all right from the day i say yes to the film to the pre production to production to after production all the work you know so i'm like literally like all guns blazing uh because the the product that finally reaches the audience i wanted to be like like the best ever you know to best of our capability you know rani you don't put pressure on yourself that i need to have a release this year wo no. wo bilkul nahi hai nahi 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 not at all mm. because um, not for any other reason it's because i think i value my fans too much um i don't think my fans will want to see a bad film of mine if i give a release every year you know they would rather wait for a good film and be proud of that film rather than just see me anywhere you know yeah. i think they're used to me now yeah they stop complaining they've accepted me the way i am <laughs> well on that happy note we're going to bring out the fan question oh lovely yes that's always nice to take so you just pick out oh. names and please wow. call out Ha. Huh. It's not moving. It's just gone to the same place. Shognik Mukherjee have I pronounced you correctly? Shognik. Ki Shognik. Shognik. I uh, thanks. That's an information. I just got informed that Shognik Mukherjee is Bengali. You would have I never like, guessed. I would have never guessed. I'm so sorry. He thinks I'm a Chopra now. He does. <laughs> But he doesn't know that I am a Mukherjee, and I will be Mukherjee till I die. Exactly. Shogdik, your question. Shogdik, yes. bolo, Baba. Yes. Bangla the bolo, Bangla the. Yeah. लाइफ So my, Amar, that question, book might come, might not come. Ha, I might just change my mind. Say, Amar, no, no, no. Amar, question. Apna jumne hunche je jodi apna unna advice ne wali sino younger Rani Mukherjee jonne younger version of yourself. What would that one advice be and why? I think the advice I would give my younger self was very good. You listen to your mom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I think listening to your mom is a very good thing. You should always listen to your mother. and uh, mothers are mothers they always will want the best for you so yeah so that's the advice i would give all 20 year olds not only myself when i was 20 robin roy another bengali <laughs> maaf kar do bhai because my mother's name was krishna roy so i thought you are also <laughs> but you know my daughter knows malayali really yeah How because cool? she has a malayali nurse Sad. So they make the best. She knows films. more. She knows more Malayali than Bengali, by the way, my daughter. <laughs> oh, okay, ma'am. So if you were given the opportunity to rewrite one of your past characters, who rewrite? would rewrite? I will write. I'm not a writer. Uh, play it differently. Play differently. Okay, yeah. correct. So who would be that character, and what changes would you make? <laughs> It's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Rewrite. Okay. Um. Kabi alvida na kena. But Tina was so lovely, ya. Yeah? He doesn't want to kill me, I think. Ah, that's Dina. possible. Maybe I shouldn't have died. Exactly. But I was a good-looking boot, though. <laughs> In white. 
arriving and doing <laughs> well, anyway thank you ha huh? any yes, any thank you also <laughs> Actually, I didn't even answer your question. Is there any character? But you're happy with whatever I said. Chalo, love you. <laughs> Is there any character, Rani, who you think about and feel that she could have sort of ended up in a different place? See, I think the journey of all my characters in their respective stories, I think they have been the best. That's why I was part of it. Yeah. So I wouldn't like to change anything. You were satisfied. I was satisfied, and even if I was not, I I learned from those incomplete characters or the characters that didn't work, because in films, as actors, we're always learning with the experiences that we have through our characters. Mm. Something works, something doesn't work. Um, you know, some people think something is regressive. Some people think it's not with the times. You know, there are so many different opinions that come with a character that I play, and um, yeah, so it's very interesting. So I don't think I'd. Like to change anything, but it was a good question. Pranoy Roach, just sweet boy with an orange. Hello everyone. Hi ma'am. Tell me what is Roach, darling? Uh, we are Anglo Indians. Huh? Anglo Indians. Anglo Lovely. Indians. Super. Tell me. Uh, ma'am, my question to you is: uh, What's the best advice someone has given you about acting, and uh, what is the advice you would give someone, uh, you know, who wants to get into the profession of acting? So I think the best advice that I received at a very early age in my career it was my my career had not even started when I was with Roshan Tanija so I remember very clearly is that um, my film was supposed to begin shoot in August and I was uh, signed for the film in June you know as as uh, late as June and there was like you know she doesn't know anything about acting what is to be done and blah 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 okay let's go to roshan tanija and maybe you know she'll be able to pick up some uh, stuff there and i remember as that 16 year old going to roshan tanija's uh, living room with my dad and my dad was like um, uh, you know she's come and she's starting a film and you know she would really like to uh, know how to act and you know she would like to train under you and I remember Roshan Tanija ji saying very uh, categorically that you know I don't have a pill that I can give your daughter and she learn acting and it has to come from within and that's something that has stayed with me because you know you can't really learn how to act um, because acting is about reaction you know it's about reacting and all of you right now are actually acting but you all are not aware that you all are you know if i just put a camera on your face and if you release that that's actually acting you know the conversations that you have in your day to day life with your family or the way you react dramatically romantically um in friendship like all those are scenes and those are scenes that we portray on screen so actually you don't really act you just have to be yourself thank you thank you great advice uh pratyusha avasti hi pratyusha hi so you were doing very romantic films and then what uh then no one kill jessica came and that was a very different and very 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 different character than you usually but i've done different even in the beginning i did black in the middle of my romantic films i yeah, did yeah. Hmm. i did hey ram no. my first film was rather dramatic raja kya ki barat yeah actually yeah, yeah i seen that i seen that yes you not done good homework and come <laughs> no 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 my i i brought up no one kill jessica because it's one of my favorite film okay. of yours so i just wanted to know how was your experience do matlab for you as a character that's it matlab in no one kill jessica you played that character how was experience playing that character during it yeah. was amazing because i never take up a project or a role which i don't find amazing myself i have to really love that character to be able to portray her to the best of my ability i have to be in love with the character that i'm portraying like i have to be in love like all the characters that i've played in my career i would want to be friends with them yeah you know so for me I love to know this person because I am born as Rani right so this is my only life but uh, and I get to romance only Adi in this lifetime you see but through my characters I can romance Shahrukh I can romance Salman and I'm allowed to do that and I'm paid for doing that so that's so amazing you see it's a good life <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so it's it's nice to um you know love the characters you're playing because she's a different girl you know because i get to know so many women 
and some amazing women I've known through my characters, yeah. you know, and they empower me, you know, to become the best version of myself because there is something that I've learned with each character of mine, you know, Rhea Prakash from Ham Tum taught me so much to be a self-assured girl, to be confident in her own skin and to not take love in a, in a beak, you know. So I think there are so many characters that have taught me so much through my career and I've got inspired by those characters and that's why I played them because they inspired me, you know. It, it inspired me too, that's why I brought yeah, up Yeah, of course, Thank they you. are very, very inspiring characters and through those characters I get to inspire so many other women as well. So when I read about Shivani Shivaji Roy in a film script, I'm empowered. So through me, so many other girls are empowered. So that's the chain. Yeah. You know? Guys, give her a big applause!